Hello, uh, my name is Dongwon Kim. I am a technical engineer of Midas IT. Uh, today, we will learn GUI techniques of Midas Civil. In this session, we will introduce the features and the basic skills of using Midas Civil GUI. By becoming familiar with Midas Civil interface, the user will competently build a model and uh, perform the numerical analysis. And uh, we have a plan to cover the following sessions. Uh, lesson two, geometry modeling using various functions. Lesson three, how to define material and section properties. Lesson four, how to define and apply various permanent rules. These courses will be effective for the engineers who has just started with Midas Civil. Uh, if you have any question during this webinar, uh, please let me know by the question board on the dialogue. Then I will answer you after finishing what I prepared. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> Here are the contents for today's lesson. Uh, first of all, we will learn how to navigate uh, navigate the uh, model using various graphic interface functions. Secondly, there are various options to select nodes and elements. There are some functions which are useful when we have a complex model. Third, we can activate or deactivate uh, nodes and elements. We use this function when we modify um, the, the model partially and see the results for a particular member. And then um, we will have a look at a various display option. The user can modify or change the representation form of graphics, colors, fonts, characters, or symbols displayed in the model window. Uh, change the display option will make your report and presentation look great. And I will talk about uh, how to use tree menu. Sorry. A tree menu is a powerful tool when we check input data of the analysis model. Tree menu consists of, of items used for modeling, loading input, analysis, and design. User can adapt to this tree structure very quickly because it is similar to the uh, menu structure of window, Windows Explorer. Lastly, um, I will use some display options of construction stage. Okay, let's, let's view the model in various ways. Now, um, let's go into Maida Civil. So, I will click my Civil icon on the top left corner and click open project. I will open simple beam. You can download the model files from our website. Uh, this is a simple beam model for today's training. Now we will start learning basic interface functions. I'm gonna select the unit before I begin. So, we can change the unit at any time. For example, we can input material properties with Newton and millimeters and input loadings with kilonewton and meters. It is, uh, this is up to you. Uh, there are three ways to navigate the model using the mouse. 
uh, first is pressing the mouse wheel uh, to move the model like here second is pressing control key and the mouse wheel at the same time in order to rotate to uh, rotate to the model third is uh, scrolling the mouse wheel in order to zoom in or zoom out the model We can also use some icons on the right side. At first, we can zoom in on a specific area by zoom window. Here is zoom window. So, as you see, model was zoomed in by window. And by this icon, uh, the entire, by this icon, the entire model fits into the working window. Uh, instead of using mouse, we can magnify or shrink the size by this icon. Zoom in, zoom out. Please click the rest of the icons one by one by yourself. And then, Let's view model from four directions using the side view icon. By ISO view, we can view diagonally. And also, it is possible to view from top, right, front. Uh, here are the slides that I demonstrated. We will upload this, this model file and the presentation file on our website. So please follow the steps again after watching this webinar. Now uh, I will select some nodes and elements. We can select all uh, by this button. Select or here so selected elements will be highlighted like this if you want to select single element select single icon here so you can select one by one and you can check selected nodes and elements here. So under control E, if we note the node number or element number, we can select it by entering directly here. So enter. We can check selected nodes. And then by unselect all here, all elements are unselected. Select all, unselect all. Uh, select by window functions here. Select by window. Uh, this works in a uh, different way. We will click two times to create the window. If we click the left side to the right side, only the elements and nodes within the window will be selected. And instead, uh, uh, if we click the right side and the, to the left side, the elements which are crossing the window will be also selected. Um, if we want to select particular elements of a model at once, uh, use this icon, select by polygon. Select by polygon. Let's create polygons by clicking multiple times. So, like this. And at the end, uh, double click. So, you can select the, select the nodes and elements in the polygon. Uh, not only in in the icon menu, there are various ways to select 
were on select in the upper menu. So I'd like to try one by one, and if you need help, you can go to the online manual by pressing F1. So you can see online manual here, and we can search any items. For example, select. You can see online manual in detail. Now I will talk about the activation. Um, active means that only activated elements are left in model and the inactivated elements would be hidden on the screen. For example, I will select some elements and after clicking select by window, uh, select three elements. Uh, if you click active here, we can display only three elements. Uh, getting back to the original state by active R here. So uh, after selecting three elements, if you click inactivate, inactivate, those elements will disappear and we can see remaining elements. When only activated elements are there, you can inverse activate. Inverse activation so that hidden elements would be shown exchanging with activated elements. After all work is done, all elements can appear again by active or. Now, let me explain display option. Uh, there are a lot of options in the display options depending on what to display, but I cannot handle everything at this time. Uh, but I'm gonna show some examples. Uh, at first, hidden options here. Hidden, uh, hidden means that you can set whether or not to show the section and thickness of elements. Uh, taking this simple beam as an example, this beam is modeled as a 1D beam element. Uh, that is, this beam is modeled by combining 1D line and section data. This is a section data. And uh, if we switch switch on hidden, the element originally seen as a line became a three-dimensional shape, including a section data. And then we can display the modeled elements shrunk by a fixed ratio at nodes. Here, by the shrink option. Uh, this function is very useful when verifying the connection conditions of nodes and elements. When shrink option is off, the beam appears to be as a continuous element. And if you switch on shrink, we can see each divided element by each node. Uh, this beam might be considered as one beam, but it actually consists of 10 elements. Uh, if you want to know each node number, uh, switch on display node number. Display node number. And we can also see each element number by display element numbers. Uh, I will cover in another part later. Anyway, if we get to know these numbers, we can easily input some items to nodes and or elements. Now, um, I will talk about display icon. We can see a small monitor uh, shaped icon in the upper bar. In this command, we can check on particular symbol or data we want to display on the screen. 
For example, if we check on nodes, the nodes of element appear on the screen. If you check on nodes, we can see nodes. And in the element tab, check on local axis to display in elements. Okay. As you see, uh, X, Y, and Z axes are shown by color. The analysis results such as uh, member force, stress, and deformation should be should be determined according to these axes. I'll explain them in more detail later in lesson two, uh, which is about geometry modeling. Okay, uh, in the load tab, the load tab, we can display any applied loads uh, with the load value. As you see in the tree menu, uh, we can already have a uh, nodal, nodal load and beam load. So check on beam load and load value and hit apply the beam load appears as we defined. Uh, what if we check on display by selection here? Display by selection. Let me try. Beam loads disappear on the screen. But if we select some elements, the relevant loads appear again by selection. Okay, uh, there is a display option icon right next to display icon. This is a display, this is display option. Display option is used to modify or change the representation form of graphics, characters, or symbols displayed on the model. All of these items are up to you. For example, in the color tab, if you set background black and hit apply, the color of the element would be changed according to the black background. If we want to get it back to default state, uh, hit default or button. In my case, I usually use the background white option. You can choose whatever you like. Okay, and uh, moving on to the draw tab, there is a in activated object option. And we can check on whether to show element and node or not. As I explained before, inactivated elements are not to be shown in mother. We can only see activated elements. However, if we check on this show element uh, node option, the edge lines of inactivated elements could remain. Let me check. So I will select some elements and click inactivate it, inactivate. As you see now, the edge lines of inactivated elements remain. 